the students in today's class let's continue the chapter electricity you all know that in yesterday's class we come across some of the important terms related to electric current just to recall these important points the very first one is electric potential second one is potential difference and third one is electromotive force then definitions of these electric potential or potential of a charged particle it can be defined as the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to the given point in an electric field an electric potential can be measured by using a unit called volt and we have a formula to find out electric potential that is v is equal to w by q where w is work done and q is quantity of charge here we have used another word called electric field when you go for taking a charged particle around that there will be a region which is responsible for the existence of electrostatic force and we call this region as electric field just recall its definition the region around the charged particle where the electrostatic force is present is called electric field and the second important term it is potential difference and its abbreviated form is pd it is also known as voltage just to recall its definition it is the work done in moving a charged particle from one point to another point in an electric field the work done in moving a charged particle from one point to another point in an electric field is called potential difference and potential difference can be found out by using the formula v is equal to that is w by q where w is work done in moving a charged particle from one point to another point and q is quantity of charge that is what quantity of charged particles will be moved from one point to another point in an electric field and it can be measured with a unit called it is volt this is system of international unit of potential difference and its actual unit is it is it can be found out by using the formula to say joule per coulomb and even we have defined one volt the potential difference is said is said to be one volt with the condition that if one joule of work is done in moving one coulomb of charged particles from one point to another point in an electric field given yesterday in worksheet i had given you this question that is to define the si unit of potential difference nothing but voltage so you should not just mention the si unit you have to write the definition of one volt one side repeat one volt can be defined like this that is the potential difference between the ends of a conductor is said to be one volt if one joule of work is done in moving one coulomb of charged particles from one point to another point in an electric field and even we have come to know the meaning of two volts that is if two joules of work is done in moving one coulomb of charged particles from one point to another point in an electric field that means the amount of work has to be done in moving the charged particle is more so that voltage increases then good amount of electric current flows in the circuit you can have that experience uh, by uh, by making a simple circuit using a conductor electric bulb switch and the cell you just go for using one cell and switcher and observe the glow of the bulb similarly two cells three cells and so on as the number of cells increased then voltage also increases 
as a result of what? A result of that good amount of electric current flows. <clears throat> okay. Then after that, we come across one of the, one of the important term. One force is there which will provide the energy to the energy uh, energy to the charged particles to move continuously to maintain the constant potential difference. And we call this as electromotive force and is abbreviated as EMF. And it was, it was defined as the energy required to maintain the constant potential difference between the ends of a conductor is called EMF. The meaning of this is, it is the energy which gives EMF, it is the source which gives the energy to the charged particles to move continuously and also it maintains the constant potential difference. Then what is the source of EMF? The source of EMF is electric cell, battery. electric generator, and battery, right? So this much was discussed in the last class. So now let's go for continuing this chapter. Yes, the students repeatedly have been telling the definition of potential difference, its formula, SI unit, and definition of one volt. All are very important because in the previous year examinations, many times questions have been framed on these terms. Okay, let's go for continuing this. Whatever the potential difference is there, to know the potential difference maintained by a source, we will go for using a device. You can come to know that what amount of voltage is maintained by this electric cell. It can, it can be measured by using a device that is called voltmeter. It is voltmeter. Voltmeter is a device used to measure the potential difference between the ends of a conductor are to measure the potential, potential difference of a source of EMF. Got it? It is voltmeter. You may write with me, side heading, it is voltmeter. Once I repeat, a device used to measure the potential difference between the ends of a conductor. Copy the same. The device used to measure, measure potential difference between the ends of a conductor is called voltmeter. Hope that you have written. <clears throat> so now let us come across some of the important properties of this voltmeter. This voltmeter, it has high electric resistance, which means that it has a capacity to oppose the flow of electrons in the circuit. It has more capacity. Hence, we say that it has high electric resistance. Because of this reason, it is always be connected in parallel in the circuit. Got it? So you, you know that we have already come across one of, one of the measuring instrument that is a meter. A meter is always connected in series in the circuit. Whereas word meter is connected, it is always connected in parallel in the circuit. There are two reasons. One is it has high electric resistance and second one is, when it is connected in series, the amount of current that flows through the conductor or circuit, it changes, it alters. Got it? These are the two reasons. Please do remember. So here I'll write, voltmeter 
it is please write with me suraj bhi raikar write with me it is always connected always connected in parallel it is always connected in parallel let me show you the parallel connection <coughs> dear students could you tell one of the filament that we use in most of the electrical heating devices like electric iron box switches yes which is that switch switch no no very simple say the filament you know that the filament that is used in an electric bulb it is filament used in electric iron box Tungsten. It is tungsten. Micro. Micro. Look okay. here. Here, you can also write with me. In this, in the circuit, just I am taking a micro. Of course, I you will get more information. This is the circuit. Here we have a micro. Then to know the potential difference across this micro, we will go for connecting voltmeter in parallel. Like observe voltmeter, it is in parallel. This is the way we connect, and we also know the reason for this. Please, you must write with me. It is always connected in parallel because it has high electric resistance. This is first reason. It has. high electric resistance and second point is it alters the flow of current in the circuit when connected in series it changes or alters it changes the flow of current electric current flow of current when connected in series when connected in series hope that you have written now just observe it now i am showing the picture of voltmeter here you can find out the voltage of the battery cell Our voltage of some filament by using these voltmeters, you can find out one in volts and R in millivolts as well. We have both. Even every voltmeter has its own least count, like in a meter. Just recall least count. This is the value of one division on the scale of Volt meter is called its least count. The value of one division on the scale of volt meter is called least count of volt meter. Just here, I am drawing a scale in the volt meter. Please go for drawing quick as possible. This is just to draw a semicircle. Come here, the zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here are right. It is fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is one fifty. Okay. <clears throat> Just observe it. Could you tell? Ah, uh, let it be volt only. Could you tell the least count of this voltmeter? Five. Five. Five, sir. Five. Five. Very good. Five, sir. Nishka, could you tell how is this? Sir, we have to divide fifty by the number of lines present there. Very good. Number of division. You all know that. 
the value of one division on the scale of volt meter represents its least count. So here we have from zero to fifty volts, then after that up to hundred volts. Next one fifty volt. We want the value of one division. So here between zero and fifty volts, we have ten divisions. So let me write here ten divisions. Is equal to fifty volts. Then the value of one division. Please write with me. Value of one division is equal to fifty by ten. Well, the value of one division is least count. Least count is equal. To, you just go for cancelling it. One sub five. Least count is five. Volts. That means every division represents five volts. Now, as you know, the needle is showing at this point. Could you tell? Twenty, sir. Twenty, sir. Twenty, sir. Twenty, sir. Twenty, sir. Twenty. Very good. One, two, three, four. It is in four. So one division is five volt. Next. Two, three, four, four into five. It is twenty. So in this case, voltage is with respect to this voltage or potential difference is four into five is twenty volts. Twenty volts. Dear students, just observe this first one and try to tell the least count. What is the least count of first meter? Zero point two. Zero point two, sir. Zero point two. Very good. Two point five, sir. You know that. Zero point two. Two point two. It is. We have. Don't miss it. Just observe. We have ten divisions between two volts, right? Zero to two volts. We have ten div divisions. So ten divisions is equal to two volts, and one division is equal to two by ten. Two by ten is nothing but zero point two volts. Got it? <clears throat> and please observe second. One was given in the examination as well. Please observe this and tell the least count. Forty, sir. Forty, sir. Forty, sir. Forty. Forty. Excellent. You can come to know that in this. In this volt meter, second one. In this volt meter, five divisions together make two hundred volts, two hundred millivolts. Five divisions together make two hundred millivolts. Then one division is equal to. It can be written as two hundred by five. It is nothing but forty millivolts. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Now, uh, just let me go for taking uh, two important numerical problems on voltage. Yeah. Please write the side heading numerical problems. Write quickly. Numerical problems. Right. Numerical problems. First, <coughs> very simple one. It is it has been given that it is from textbook only. How much work is done? How much work is done? In moving a charge of 
in moving a charge of one coulomb, sorry, two coulomb, two coulombs across across two points, two points having having a potential difference of volumes. Is it not simple? 24 joules, sir. Yes, sir. 24 joules. Right. See, here, just go through the given statement. What amount of work has been done in moving two coulomb of charged particles from one point to another point in an electric field? That is to get the potential difference of 12 volts. So, you have already told the answer. Now, you Let's go for following the actual steps. First, let's write the data. Go through this. How much work is done? What we are going to find out? W, sir. Uh, yes, work done, that is W. In moving a charge of two coulomb, what does two coulomb indicate? Q, sir. Q. 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 Quantity of charge, that is Q, right? Q is equal to. Two coulomb. Please go on writing with me. Capital Q is equal to two coulomb. Across two points, having the potential difference of 12 volts. V, sir. V is equal to 12. V is equal to potential difference V is equal to 12 volts. See that. Here also, if you write V, you may get confused. So that I have written in words. Voltage is equal to 12 volts. And we are going to find out the amount of work is to be done in moving two coulomb of charged particles to obtain a potential difference of 12 volts. Let's go for calculation. What is the formula used to find out? Voltage. V equal to W by Q. V is equal to W by Q. You also know that this formula includes all the three terms, Q, V, and W. Let's go, let's go for finding W. W is equal to, go for cross multiplication. It will be V into Q. V into Q. Then this is equal to, where V is 1. 12 and into 2. 2. 12 2 is up. It is 20 24. No. You must write the unit without saying. 24 joules. 20. Yes, you may write PD in place of V. Potential difference. <coughs> now, let me go for giving you another one. Second one is very important in the examination point of view. Even it was given as, as well. Please go for putting three star one. Right, second one. Shall I write? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. An electric heater is connected to 230 volt main supply. An electric heater, an electric heater is connected to, is connected to 230 volt main supply. May supply. Full stop. A current of eight amps. A current of eight amps flows through the heat. Flows through the heater.
full stop now there are two sub question how much could come up first one has been asked like this charge flows how much charge flows around the circuit around the circuit in each second good question second sub question please go on writing with me how much energy is transferred how much energy is transferred how much energy is transferred to the heater to the heater in each second in each second hope that you have understood the statement while writing only yes or no have you understood the statement yes sir is very simple just go through this an electric heater is connected to 230 volts in supply potential difference is equal to 230 volt v yes potential voltage nothing but potential difference right v is equal to 230 volts next a current of 8 amp flows through the heater what is i a amp i i i i is equal to 8 amps next you are going to find out how much charge flows through the circuit in each second what does this indicate this one second sir equal to one one second equal to one second what it is Time. 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 Yes, could you tell me what is the second term which is going to be called? Work done. Work done. W. Amount of work done. W. Amount of work done. 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 Amount Around the circuit, that is Q. How do you find out? <laughs> Q is equal to I equal to N E sir. I equal to Q by T. Very good. We have a relationship between among I, T, and Q. We can write I is equal to Q by T, and you can solve Q. Q is equal to I, I into T, where I is Eight amps and time t is one second. It is equal to eight. Eight coulomb. Unit of coulomb. Unit of charge. Coulomb. coulomb. Very good. Coulomb. See here, all of all of these are in SI unit only. Yesterday only I told you what what are what zero J sir. What is to be considered while solving the problems in physics? You have to focus on the units. Now, second one. You are going to find out the work done. Nothing but energy is transferred to the heater in each second. Then B is equal to W by Q. B is equal to W by Q. W by Q. W is equal to V into Q. W and Q. We have the relationship among these. V is equal to W by Q. Voltage formula. Then. W is equal to V into Q, where V is two thirty volts, and 
curious. This we have found out. It is A. Directly, you can write it. Zero, eight, three, sir, twenty four, two is the carry, eight, two is the sixteen plus two, eight, three. Have you got, sir? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.
I have told you, soon after every problem or soon after every concept is over, you have to draw the line by using scale and pencil. Let's move to the next concept. Dear yeah, students, let's move on to the next concept of this chapter. Just observe. Observe this picture. What do you say? Circuits are electric. Yeah. Electric yes. circuits. Yes. Electrical circuit. Here we have used some electrical components. One is it is an electric cell which has terminals positive and negative. This is the switch. switch. Here is an electric bulb. And to connect all these, we have used conductor. a conducting wire. Or just you may use conductor. See, when you see here, the com all the three components are connected by using a wire that is conductor. Now, when you switch on, here the bulb glows. The glowing bulb indicates current is flowing in the conductor. So this is, you can observe that this is the closed one. And here the charge particles are moving. Could you tell from which terminal to which terminal they are moving? Positive to negative or negative to positive? Positive to negative. Positive to negative. Plus to minus. Positive to negative. Direction of current is from positive to negative, but the charge to terminal to positive to terminal. And particles move from negative to positive. Yesterday only I told you, even in the very first class, also I had given you that information. Actually, yes, actually sir, electron the, current control, the movement of the charge particle, the movement of the electron will be from negative to positive. But the whole world is following the conventional current only. That is, we show the direction of current from positive to negative because the concept of electricity was already developed based on positively charged particle called proton. And the concept was already known before the discovery of electrons. What is it? Here the charged particles are moving from negative terminal to positive terminal. So this, look here, this close and continuous path in which the charged particles are moving, this is called electrical circuit. This whole arrangement is called electrical circuit. Once I repeat, the closed and continuous path, this is the path, observe this path in which the charged particles are the current flows is called electrical circuit or simply electric circuit. Got it? Here, just to write side heading, electric circuit, electric circuit. Once I repeat the definition, listen carefully. No need to write. The closed and continuous path in which the current flows is known as electric circuit. Here we have a simple electrical circuit with some components. Just observe, don't copy this. We have used one wire switch and a cell. Now I'm going to write their circuit symbols. Look at them. Could you tell which symbol is this? Battery. Battery, sir. Battery. 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 Battery.
इन्फॉर्मेशन हाउ हाउ डिफरेंट इलेक्ट्रिकल कॉम्पोनेट आर टू बी कनेक्टेड with the the corresponding symbols and we call this diagram as circuit diagram followed once i repeat circuit diagram means a diagram which 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 gives the information how the different electrical components are to be connected with the corresponding electrical components symbols or symbols of electrical components so this is the circuit diagram but in this whether the bulb is glowing no, no sir no sir why no sir no sir which is not off sir which is off which is off sir okay dear students of course anybody can tell that here switch is off though therefore the bulb is not glowing but as you are learning the electrical Uh, electricity concept based on that you can answer open circuit sir uh, it is open circuit means it is not closed hence the charge particles will not flow to make it to flow we have to close this circuit now the charge particles start now bulb is glowing sir bulb is glowing sir the bulb starts glowing glow okay now let me show you the direction of flow of current it is from positive terminal to negative terminal siddesh you should not go for writing anything please listen my explanation carefully i'll give you time for writing this is negative positive terminal to negative terminal this is the circuit diagram Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Please wait, sir. Sir, this is Prashant, sir. Please wait. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Change the screen. Change the screen. Are you learning or playing in our mobile? Yes, yes. And some uh, some students, you are playing with something. I am not going to allow you, Shri Ramar. Shri Ram R, keep your mobile properly. Unnecessary or making sound. I am going to remove you directly. I am telling. Everyone, please turn on your video. We have to see you. Shu Kumar, Danvit, Deeraj. Okay, sir. You may continue, sir. Thank you. Okay. Yes, students. Please attend the class with your own interest. If your parents are forcing you to listen the class, please personally you call me. I'll talk to your parent. I even I'll convince them. Here, yeah, this online class, nothing but distance education. is only meant for the students who are interested in who have set their scope their goal in this academic year if you have if you have a intention to get highest score in the final examination your preparation from now itself it is good it is the right time if you are forcibly sitting i don't expect learning from such students i don't want to continue also so please be attentive <clears throat> yes 
Now, let's go to circuit diagram. Write the side heading circuit diagram. Circuit diagram. Circuit diagram. Once I tell the definition, even it was given in the examination as well. In the examination, let me tell you how the question was asked. They are asked you to <coughs> define circuit diagram and also show the circuit symbol for the following electrical components. Not only that, using the following electrical components, make a circuit. This is the this was the possible question asked in the examination. Circuit diagram. It is the diagram which indicates how different electrical components in the circuit have been connected with their corresponding symbols. Write the same definition. The diagram, the diagram which indicates, which indicates how different electrical components, how different electrical components, components have been connected, have been connected in the circuit, in the circuit using the corresponding symbols of the corresponding symbols of corresponding symbols of compounds is called circuit diagram written up so in short, we can write the circuit as like C A T dot circuit. Circuit then write that. Over. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, students, now let me show you some of the electrical components with their circuit symbols. Afterwards, I'll make you to write also. Just observe. The some more, most commonly used electrical components. Here I have mentioned, I have prepared a chart. In one side, you can come to know that. That is left hand side, you can come to know about the electrical components. And second column, it's about their corresponding circuit symbols just observe it here first one electric cell this is the symbol we are drawn longer line and shorter line and longer line represent positive terminal shorter line represents negative terminal battery it's a combination of more than mm. one cell here we have taken three cells see that positive negative and this negative terminal of first cell is connected to positive terminal of second cell. Similarly, it is continued. Then third one, it is a switch. Circuit is not closed. It is open switch. Next, fourth one is, it is closed switch. That means when the switch is on, the current start flowing. And fifth one, this is, the plug key, even in place of switch, we can also go for using the plug key. It is open. That means circuit is not closed. And this is the circuit symbol of plug key in which the current is flowing. And next one, seventh one is just we have drawn a line which represents a wire or conductor. Next. Eighth one is important, just observe. 
I'm bringing a little bit close. It is wire joint. Here two wires are taken and one wire is joined to another wire. Next, sometimes we will have to cross a wire over another wire. So this is the symbol to be used. But while crossing, we are not connected that second wire. See, this is the symbol of wire crossing without joining. Wire crossing without joining. Next. This is a symbol of a bulb. Even we will also draw like this. Next one. It is a resistor. We have zigzag lines. You can observe that. This is resistor. Afterwards, we will explain about it. Next one is, it is variable resistance. If the resistor Uh, look here. If the uh, resistance is going to be changed to represent that, we will go for using this symbol. That is zigzag line with arrow mark. In textbook also, we have some electrical components, but I have connect, collected a little bit more. Next, a Rio start. This is the symbol of Rio start. Afterwards, you'll come to know what is Rio start. Then ammeter. It's very simple. Look here. It is. We have written the letter A, it is encircled. On either side, we have drawn the line. And it has terminals, positive and negative. Both have been mentioned. Next, voltmeter, encircled V, galvanometer, encircled G. Other than this, we have some more. This is important part. Electric fuels. This is, we have drawn a rectangle and inside that, an R. Next, it is the symbol of alternating current. This is, and is the symbol of direct current. And this is a voltage, DC, nothing but we have used a cell. Next, milliameter, obviously it is MA N circle. 25th one, it is the symbol of transformer. It is additional information only. Next, 26, it is tapping key, the symbol of tapping key. And 27th one, it is resistance box. So these are some important electrical components which we, come at, which we use commonly. So now I am going to give you the circuit symbols that are given in the textbook and which are going to be used in this academic year. Please go for writing. Side heading. Sir, is, galvanometer is connected in series or parallelly, sir? Galvanometer. connected in series one. In series. It is okay. just a current detecting device, no? Right. Side heading. Circuit symbols. Circuit. Sir, we did not draw the diagram, sir. Huh? We should draw circuit diagram, sir. Yeah, you must. You must. Okay. And which are most important to be asked at the examination for them, I'll put star mark. Right. Circuit symbols. In the first one. Right. Electric cell. Electric cell. Just beside that only, right? A longer line and shorter line. Longer line represents positive terminal, shorter line represents negative. Second, it is a battery or electric battery. Battery, more than one cell, combination of cells. Here, positive terminal, next, negative terminal. Positive, negative. Positive, negative. Mention the terminals as well. Please draw with me. Third one, switch. Switch. In that first one is open. We can show like this. Just two common brackets. Below that, you write closed. If it is closed, again, 
show the common brackets inside that dot represents circuit is closed fourth plug key plug key here also first one is open and key is to be represented like this it is open next close we write either like this or just go that we draw a line next fifth one sir what is conductor conductor or wire just to be draw a straight line Next one. Sixth one. I put star mark for this. Single star mark. It is wire joint. It is wire joint. Here are right. Wire joint. Here we can draw like this. This is a straight line at one point. From here we will connect another wire. Next, seventh one. Seventh one is wire crossing without joint. Put star mark on this. Wire crossing. Crossing without joint. Wire crossing without joint. We know that how to draw wire. It is a straight line. Another wire has to be taken. It has to cross that, but it is not to be joined. So we draw the symbol like wire crossing without joint. Next, eighth one. It is an electric bulb. Electric bulb. B U L B. There are two symbols. One is like this. This is the symbol of an electric bulb. Or another one. We draw a N circle. Semi circle like this. <coughs> Let me continue here. This is ninth one, and for this you must put star mark. It is resistance. Resistance here. Please go for drawing the zigzag lines neatly and of the same size. The resistor or resistancer. Resistance. That's a value. Okay. Resistor. That is a wire. It is the symbol of resistance. And please don't go for drawing like this. it represents ecg it is wrong please observe the zigzag line should be correct next twelfth one even this is also important that is if the resistance is changed resistance of a wire is changed we call it as variable resistance variable resistance And we show the symbol like this. Again, draw the zigzag lines neatly. Next, arrow mark, which crosses the zigzag line. It is variable resistance. Next, eleventh one, a rheostat. 
It is actually a device used for changing the resistance. Will be discussed later. I will reduce to it. Again, we will go for drawing the zigzag lines. Next, arrow one, downwards. This is the rheostat. Next, fourth one, it is a meter, a right, galvanometer, volt meter, so a meter, encircled A on either side, line, and show the symbol, sorry, terminal, positive and negative. Galvanometer N circled G positive and negative. Voltmeter N circled B positive and negative terminal. Next, thirteenth one. It is an electric fuse, electric fuse, and put star mark for this. It is also important. Then right the side, upward also. Sign upward for which one? Okay, electric fuse. Draw a rectangle and inside that an arm on either side. Draw the line. <clears throat> Next, a remaining transformer and all, it's not there. Only these are it. Up to electric fuse is enough. Now I'm dropping this part. Now we are moving the right part of this channel. You must learn and remember the circuit symbols of some of the important one. What's the difference between plug key and switch? See, plug key, we'll just go for pressing it. There will be a screw. But when I switch, just once it is on, once you just press that, the circuit will be either it is closed or it is open. Sir. Now we are moving to the next concept of this chapter. Dear students, so far, oh, definitely, Mohatashim. Definitely, these circuit symbols will also be shared in the group as well. Dear students, so far we have come across some important terms related to electricity. And some of them are, it is electric current, potential difference, and electromotive force. Among these, again, I'll take the first two, current and voltage, electric current, and voltage, is there any relationship between electric current that is flowing through the conductor and also voltage? I'm asking you, is there any relationship between oh, here, uh, one is asking the doubt. Sir, we will go for using K for representing switch. Of course, it is indication of switch. But the circuit symbol, so for circuit symbol, we will go for using the switches like this. <coughs> Listen, dear students, in the simple circuit, we will go for using a cell or battery. Then current will start flowing. Is there any relationship between the flow of charged particles and Cell or battery? Yes, sir. Yes, there is a relationship. 
you can earlier only i told you that as you go on changing the as you go on increasing the number of cells the uh, the glow with which the electric bulb will get will increase it means there is a relationship actually this relationship was first found out by a great scientist is a german scientist do you know who is he god simon ohm he is george simon ohm george simon ohm has given the relationship between electric current flowing through the conductor and also the potential difference across it ends and to do that uh, to know that relationship he has conducted an activity by making his own circuit now let me sudarshan just listen i am not coming to the conclusion just i have been giving you the information he has given his own circuit first let us understand that activity through the circuit activity it is related to know the relationship between electric current and the potential difference right now find it find it relationship between relationship between between current flowing through the conductor please write with me current flowing through the conductor through the conductor conductor and the potential difference across its ends it is sided it potential difference across its ends Let's go on to the activity. What is the aim of this activity? Relationship between the current flow and the potential difference. Electric current flowing through the conductor and the potential difference. Current flowing through the conductor and the potential difference. Very simple. I'll write it in a symbolic form. That is, relationship between current flowing through the conductor and the potential difference. Current flowing through the conductor and the potential difference. Electric current is denoted by which symbol? I. I and the potential difference across its ends. Potential difference is denoted by v. v. V voltage. I and V. So now let me go for drawing the circuit diagram. This is circuit diagram must be learned. So please go and draw it with me. You will go for. You will go for using one of the. a line which is used as used as a common filament in most of the electrical heating devices this is micro dear students could you tell what are the components of micro nickel chromium nickel, uh, chromium uh, manganese and uh, iron very good see here only you can come to know that the, com uh, the components of micro filament n i this is nickel nickel next chr it is chromium and we write tr next m e is there this is manganese m n and along with that one more metal that is iron iron nichrome is equal to the homogeneous mixture of nickel chromium manganese and iron so that micro is written micro and it has some it has a some property to oppose the flow of electrons which is called electric resistance that we come across in the later part so this is micro i name it as x1 next and what about the electric current will flow through this micro or in the circuit for that purpose we go for using a device called 
voltmeter no 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 current flowing through the conductor can be measured ammeter 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 you know that ammeter should always be connected in series next here i am going to use this space for using the cells or battery and here is the switch next to know the voltage maintained by this micro we will go for using a device what is the device voltmeter 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 so how it is to be connected in parallel in parallel in parallel in micron band yes right this is voltmeter is connected parallel to the micro and this is positive terminal and it's negative negative positive and here i am going to first one cell this is the simple circuit just listen dear students this is the circuit uh, circuit diagram used for knowing the relationship between current and voltage here the electrical components that we have used are xy it is micro and a filament called micro this is voltmeter voltmeter ammeter right it is no current is flowing so that the circuit is open next this is the switch and is assembled so this is the experimental arrangement now let's move on to the actual processor dear students here we have used one cell having some potential difference so call it as it may be just a uh, 1 volt or 2 volt 1.5 volt whatever it is just i take this is 1 volt cell now i am going to close the circuit when the circuit is closed is closed the, the charge particles start moving from negative terminal to positive terminal. terminal but we show the direction of current from positive terminal to negative terminal like this and the amount of current that is constituted in the entire circuit can be measured by using a device called a meter a meter got it here also you, you can also come to know that what amount of current that flows through this micro using this a meter clear up are you all following yes sir, yes, sir. meanwhile one side repeat here we are using the cells some number of cells then after that we will switch up then we will come to know what amount of electric current goes to this micro next after that what is the potential difference across this micro that will also be recorded clear up are you following yes, sir. in yes, sir. first try we have taken just one voltage battery or one volt battery or cell next if you go for increasing one more cell then what is the voltage of the battery two, two volt sir two volt two volt two volt two volts battery whether the amount of current flowing in the circuit changes or will remain same changes changes sir changes changes that can that current flowing through in the circuit and micro can be noted by using a meter in the second try similarly soon then you should also observe the voltmeter to record voltage across micro like that by increasing the number of cells you can record the amount of current that is changing and also voltage across the resistor 
So now I am going to write the calculation table with respect to this activity. Did you all understand or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The students, could you tell how many trials we have taken? In this, how many trials we have taken? See, in the first trial, we took one voltage cell, one volt cell. Second trial, one volt one, is added. Two volt. Total two volts. Two volts. Third time, two, three, three volts are to be taken. Voltage is three. Three volts. Three volts. Did you understand? And yes, one sir. the number of cells, then we will go for recording the corresponding current flowing in the entire circuit, the corresponding voltage across the nitro in each case. <clears throat> now I'm going to prepare the table. Here I'm going. It is observation table. Observation table. And please go for drawing with me. It is quick as possible. First column is, it is trial number. <coughs> trial number. Next, we use number of cells. Number of electric cells. Next, third one, current flowing through nitro. Current flowing through nitro. And also, potential difference, nothing but V, through across nitro. So here, just for the sake of calculation, I go for taking some readings. Prepare the table using scale and pencil. Here, number of cells, third column. Current, fourth column. Voltage, anyhow, we are going to find out the relationship with these two. I have prepared one more column. Hope that you are drawing with me. Don't take separate time for drawing. The time will be wasted. You should go on writing with me. <clears throat> Here, even I have prepared a chart with respect to this reading. I'm going to write the same. Try number. Let's go for taking four trials. One, two, three, and four. Total four trials are to be taken. And number of cells. In first trial, we will go for using one cell. Its voltage, let it be about 1.5. 1.5 volts. Got it? And in the next, in the second trial, I'm going to use two cells. What will be the Voltage of the battery? Three. Two Three. volts, sir. Three volts. Three volts. See that one cell indicates 1.5 volts. Two cells indicate three volts. If I go for taking three cells. 1.5 volts. 4.5 volts. 4 yes, you are right. 4.5 volts. Right. It is. When three cells are used, it will be 4.5. And if four cells are used, six, six, six volts. Six, six, volts. Six, six, six volts. Six volts. Now, dear students, now let us go for focusing on the trials one by one. Assume that now we have used only one cell, its voltage is 1.5 volts. And so that you have to close the circuit. Please do remember when you are conducting the activity, circuit should be closed. When actual trial is going to be taken, then you have to on the switch. Now we have on the switch. Current start flowing. That can be recorded. That can be recorded in the ammeter. Here I have listed ammeter reading. Here the first time, assume that it shows. Three amps. 
three ants. Similar. Next one. See. Three ants current is flowing through this nichrome as well. Here, how many nichrome filaments are used? One, two, three, oh, only yeah. one is used. So the potential difference across this will also be the voltage of the battery. That is, it is 1.5 volts. How, sir? 1.5. How, sir? Overall. Sir, how it will be same? Listen here. Yeah? Here, we have used only one filament. If more number of filaments are used, then the voltage across each will be different. As we have taken only one, so it will be equal to voltage of the battery. I will return the same. Next. Two cells are used. Now, to make the calculation simple, just I am taking some simple reading, not actual readings. Now, it shows it is six amps. Means here we are using two cells. Two words. Again, 1.5 volt, same volt. Got it? Now, circuit is closed. The current flowing through this filament is six three volts, and nichrome is three volts. Are you all following? Sir, yes, sir. sir next time nine and six. Calculation simple. I have been taking some simple numbers as well. Next nine and nine and. Nine. Nine. Let us record a meter reading as well as old meter reading. It will be nine, nine amps. amps. And old meter, let us say 4.5 volt. Four volt. How it will become nine amps, sir? No, we have to use actual voltmeter as well as ammeter. In that, we have to record it. Repeatedly, I have been telling to make you to understand this. I am taking some simple numbers. Got it? Now, actually, activity conduct martila, but just I have been explaining. For explanation purpose, I have taken these simple numbers so that you are telling easily. Now, if four cells are used without using, without absorbing the ammeter only, you can tell. Four cells are to be used. 1.5 volts, 1.5 volts. Now, total, it is 12 amps. 6 volts. Next. 6 volts. Ammeter reading, it will be. I mean, uh, six amps. Six volts. Six volts. Six volts. When you are conducting the activity practically, you may get uh, different values. So, according to that values, you should go for calculation. Here, only for the sake of making you to understand, I have taken some simple numbers. Yes, students, now you just observe the yeah, number of cells are used is increasing. As the cells used are increasing, what about the voltage? Whether it is increasing or decreasing? Increasing. 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 Voltage, whether it is increasing or decreasing? Increasing. 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 Number of cells just in what time? Therefore, voltage is increasing. Observe the current as the number of cells increases. What about the current? Increases it also increases. Increases. It, it also increases. increases. Very good. It also increases. Right? Are you following? 
Yes, sir. sir. Now, yes, sir. the voltage decreases, current increases. Now, come across this one. Moving with respect to micro. As the current flowing through the micro, current flowing through micro increases. What is the voltage across micro? Decreases. Decreases, sir. Here also, it increases. Followed. Once I repeat, as the current flowing through the micro increases, see that T is one, and the potential difference across micro here 1.53, 4.56, that also increases. increases. We can write, see, with respect to I, we can write V also. Here, there are two physical quantities. One is Voltage and second one is current. In both the cases, you can come to know that as one physical quantity increases, another physical quantity increases or decreases? Increases. 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 When the voltage increases, current increases. When the current increases, voltage also increases. Right? Then could you tell which type of proportion it is? Very good. Directly proportional. You are right. It is direct proportion. If so, can I write V is directly proportional to I? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Even I is yes, directly sir. proportional to V? Yes, sir. Just below that, you may write this relation. V is directly proportional to I. V is directly proportional to I. And I is directly proportional to V. V. Now observe. Here just I'll write. Look at V is proportional to I is there. Last year only you have learned how to remove the proportional. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Constant proportional. By proportionality constant. Proportionality. Constant. Constant. So I can write. Sir, unmute your audio. Sir, unmute your audio, sir. Sir, unmute. Yes, please unmute your audio. Observe. Here, we by V is proportional to I. To remove that proportional, we have to assume that proportionality constant. Hence, just I'll take an I to the denominator. Here, V by I equal to constant. Let us find out V by I here. V by I. You can write the calculation with me. V is how much? In first one point five. One point five. Current is? Three hours. Three hours. 1.5 by 3. It is 0.5. 0.5. 0.5. Similarly, here, 3 by 6. It is also 0.5. 4.5 by 9 is also 0.5. And 6 by 10 is also 0.5. 6 by this is the relationship. V by I is always constant. V by I is always constant. So let me tell you about that constant. And before that, just observe this chart. Look here. Look here. These are the readings what I have written. And with respect to these readings, here I have drawn the graph. Observe this graph. In this graph, I have taken current along x-axis, voltage along y-axis. Mm -hmm. I've taken the readings with respect to micro. This one, consider money. So with respect to current, voltage is changed. So I have written. I've taken current along x-axis and voltage along y-axis. And when you draw the graph of 
ಬ್ರೀಫ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ನ ನಾವು ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಜಾಯಿನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂನಿಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ಈಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಈ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ so we call this constant as it is electric resistance again we will discuss about it afterwards now observe it from this activity we have come to know that the potential difference across across the ends of a conductor is directly proportional to current flowing through this conductor provided the physical quantities remain same like the temperature temperature should be same at constant temperature this relationship was given by george simon ho and we call this relationship as ohm's law ohm's law Ohm's law. Okay. The statement of Ohm's law is very simple. Only this much is enough. Okay. In just observe, in any conductor at constant temperature, the potential difference between the ends of a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through that conductor. Is the statement of Ohm's law clear? clear yes so, sir yes sir one yes, sir. Sir. statement of ohm is very important listen carefully afterwards again i'll go for writing in according to ohm's law or ohm's law states that in any conductor at constant temperature the potential difference between the ends of a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through the conductor it is such a simple state so now i'll write that hope that you have copied up to here now yes sir yes sir the relationship between b and i is v by i is always constant and here quickly write first graph graph for v and i quick as possible graph of v and i draw it it is i and this is v it is x axis and is y axis the nature of the graph will be it is a straight line which indicates sir we should write this sir constant now right ohm's law ohm's law put three star mark for this right it states that that is ohm's law states that start with inverted comma start with inverted comma right in any conductor in any conductor any conductor put comma at constant temperature at constant temperature again put comma the potential difference the potential difference between the ends of a conductor between the ends of a conductor conductor is directly proportional to directly proportional proportional to 
directly proportional to the current flowing through the conductor. The current flowing through the conductor. Flowing through the conductor. Flows with inverted pump. And just below that, write it in short form as V is directly proportional to I at constant temperature. Okay. Hope you have copied. Yes, sir. Yes. Your students. You must yes, learn this. You must learn the today's concepts. All the concepts are important. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Yes, please. Oh, okay. Listen. Listen to me. So you must learn the di circuit diagram, which is used for verifying Bohm's law or to know the relationship between V and I. It should be practiced. Then, and in today's worksheet, even I'll go for giving you the readings as well. For the readings, you have to draw the graph of V and I. Excuse me. that its nature is a straight line. And using graph, you have to find out V by I ratio, V and I ratio. And without fail, you have to learn Wolf's law as well. Okay. Hope that you have you all have understood today's concept. Please do practice all this today itself without fail. Okay. Don't Do waste your time. time. And while coming to the next class, please read and come uh, two pages after Wolf's law, which has been given in your text. Okay, so sir. This, let us stop the class. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Have a Thank, good you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.